Moving into our next story of the day and our last story, a little bit of a shortened episode. Maybe not. Holy Lord, we're already almost 15 minutes into this bad boy. Hit that like and subscribe, folks, if you haven't already. We'd love for you to join us. Florida teacher defiant after showing woke Disney movie in class, parents' rights are gone in public school. Now, before we all get all crazy here of another teacher going woke, I'm actually going to defend this teacher in some aspects and not defend her in other aspects. It's a very nuanced situation. Y'all know I'm a conservative. Y'all know I'm a Republican. I don't want to indoctrinate your kids. I don't want that woke ideology flowing in and stuff. I just want to teach them mathematics. That's all I care about. Just, just do well in class, do well in math, and, and succeed in life. That's all I care about. So, with that understanding, just bear with me as I break this down because I'm going to take her side on some things and be a little bit nuanced, all right? So a Florida public school teacher under fire for showing a film with a gay character to her young students suggested that parents give up their rights when they send them to public schools. Look, you don't give up you don't give up your parental rights when you send your kid to school. I'm not your parent. I'm just there to take care of them and make sure that they do well in mathematics or whatever it may be. You're not there to push an agenda on them. But now we're kind of getting in some really dicey territory with what she does here, this teacher. So she's a fifth grade teacher, again, in a public school in Florida. Well, she defended her decision to show her class the 2022 Disney animated film called Strange World. I haven't seen it, but I guess it was for an earth science lesson. After parent and member of the school board, Shannon Rodriguez, complained, however, the teacher is now being investigated by the school district and the state department of education for showing the film with an openly gay character. Okay. Which, you know, this is where we get in dicey territory because there's a lot of things that you could grasp from certain films that somebody may or may not like, right? When you have like 30 kids in the classroom, you could almost show any film and have all parents sign off on it or whatever it may be. And somebody's probably going to find something to pick it apart with. That's the part I don't like. Now, I understand if you don't want your kids subjected to that stuff, I totally understand that. But the whole point of me saying this is with any movie, you could probably pick out something that you don't like, that you don't want your kid to see. So Rodriguez said at a recent school board meeting that the film opens the door, again, opens the door for teachers to have conversations with students that are inappropriate for the classroom. That is true. But you could say that about anything, you guys. As somebody that's in the classroom every single day, st students are going to ask you a litany of questions. You have to be the adult. And kind of just listen to them talk to you, but not respond to them or move yourself or disengage yourself from a certain conversation. You can't sit there and take the bait from a student, not saying they are baiting you, but you have to be the adult in the room and disengage yourself from that conversation and not allow that conversation to happen. I'm open about it. Like I just say, I don't want to talk about that. That's political. My students know I don't want to talk about political things with them. If it's finance, then yes, because... Finances has to do with politics, meaning the government, the way it functions and how it's going to hurt your pocketbook. So there are certain classes where you want to have that conversation, not necessarily about gay characters and stuff and LGBT, but you understand the idea of how government works and how it can impact and affect you. But Barbie, that's her name, I guess, argued that students were already having conversations about same sex relationships among themselves and on social media, and that would be impossible for teachers to stop them. That is true, but it's not about them talking about it with each other. It's about you as an adult engaging it and basically exacerbating the problem. You don't want that. And you kind of did open up a doorway here of playing that movie, which everybody knows is probably a hot button issue at the time. There's so many other movies that you could show National Geographic or whatever that would sit there and stop this from happening in the first place. Students ask me all the time, especially towards the end of the year, can we watch certain movies? They want to watch like Wolf of Wall Street and finance because that's to do with finances, but I'm not going to show that. That's insane. I already know there's going to be great pushback from that from parents. I don't have to, you don't have to think about this too hard. Okay, there's other Disney films. There's a lot of other things you could show in the classroom at the end of the year or to push a lesson. Furthermore, again, they're going to talk about this with themselves. She said that parents' rights to shield their children from LGBTQ conversations is gone when the child attends public school. Now, this is where I think some people are kind of twist, twisting it and manipulating it. And because we have this, I don't know what it is, this fight against teachers. I don't think it's a fight against teachers. I think it's a fight against activists that are in the position of teaching. There's a difference. I'm a teacher. I'm not an activist. I go to my classroom. I, I teach my kids stuff. I don't want to have these conversations with them. I don't want to talk to them about sex or anything like that. I just, again, again, I know I'm being clear. I know I'm repeating myself. I just want to teach the subject of mathematics and have them score well. I want them to do well. I care about them a lot. I don't want any of this. They can have that conversation with their parents. But what I think the teacher is saying here is you're not going to be able to put the earmuffs on your kid and stop them from engaging with LGBTQ stuff at school, which I do agree with. You're not going to be able to do that. 
So I think that I'm giving kind of her the benefit of the doubt here, which I like to do with people, including Joe Biden and everybody else. I'll give her the benefit of the doubt. That's what she's talking about. The rights aren't gone though. That, that part's insane. Quote, what she, what she's missing and what these parents are missing is that they are not in the school system. That doesn't have anything to do. That just shows me she's ignorant and has not come and volunteered at all. Barry said on CNN this morning on Tuesday, these conversations, these doors, they're open. These students have one to one devices like an iPad or a laptop and stuff like that. The amount of things they're able to pull up that we have to shut down these conversations, these doors that she's talking about. That's telling you I'm stripping her rights as a parent. Those rights are gone from your child is in the public school system because there are students talking about these things. I don't know why you have to inject that idea of the rights of the parents. Parents rights are not stripped from this. Parents have certain rights. There is that nuanced side of it of truth in terms of they're using this one to one. They're going to be engaging with these things. They're going to see it even if they're not doing it in the classroom, you know, at, at lunch or or outside of school, whatever it is. Sure. But our job as teachers is to mitigate that type of stuff from happening and making sure that they're not engaging with that type of stuff, but engaging with the content. They're there at school to learn. There's nothing in the standards to push the thing that this lady's talking about here of gays and, and stuff like that. As far as I'm aware of, I, again, I just teach math. So I'm not at all talking about this stuff. I just want, again, to teach mathematics. And if a kid is pulling this type of stuff up, they can close their laptop really quick because they need to be taking math notes and working on mathematics in my classroom, not watching all this other stuff, doing all these other things, unless they finished all their work, then whatever, watch YouTube, whatever you need to do. As long as your work's done, you're scoring well in my class and you understand this stuff, then whatever. That's a whole different topic. Well, it's where they get 90% of the socialization for the day. We can't shut down every conversation every child has. That is true. The elementary school teacher claimed the parent and school board member was targeting her in tandem with Governor Ron DeSantis' effort to rid public schools of diversity. You, in a sense, though, you have to be in tune with what's going on socially. You have to be in tune with, you know that Strange World was a hot button issue, especially for Republicans and conservatives, which are likely to have their children in your classroom. So you know that it's probably going to spark controversy if you play that. In the same way, if I were to teach at a predominantly conservative or Republican school, I'm, I know that there's certain films I probably shouldn't show in the classroom. There's a litany of other options that you can choose. But for some reason, she chose that one. Last month, Florida's education board approved an expansion of the parental rights and education bill, which I absolutely loved, which bans school employees or third parties from giving classroom instruction on sexual orientation or gender identity, which I 100% agree with. DeSantis signed the bill last year and critics dubbed it the Don't Say Gay Bill, even though it never said that. And by the way, it doesn't go to like certain levels and certain uh, grades in which people are pushing. The reason why he did this as well is because there's disgusting people out there and there's activists out there in the classroom that are showing children at a second and third grade level how to masturbate with cartoons and just really like even pornographic books in the library. It's insane. We would have never seen that stuff in school. You barely draw them between the lines and they're showing this stuff, but they can comprehend it. No, they can't. No, they can't. And somebody's in the classroom every single day. There's certain levels of comprehension that are incapable of happening because this hasn't fully developed yet. But every teacher knows, well, I should say every teacher, most teachers know the development of the brain because you have to go through it in your uh, uh, credentialing program. So you know that they can't comprehend certain things. Because the frontal lobe isn't fully there. Certain, certain areas of the brain are still in development all the way up to 25, 26 years old. But for some reason, they think some, some child that's a four or five-year-old is able to assume it's gender. I, don't, I just don't understand that. How can, you, how can you even go on and say that? I mean, you got doctors saying that now. You got, you got scientists saying that now. We, we, have enough, we have enough studies and evidence to prove this correct. Like, not just subjective, but objective evidence that everybody can look at and read for themselves to make a concrete understanding and decision that somebody is incapable of making a certain decision based on the evidence that they're being provided, which we have literally abundance of. So this lady knew what she was probably getting herself into. There might be a conversation here of, Hey, this is what she's pushing, but you know, you're not in her classroom. We don't know what she says all the time. We don't know what she does all the time. Could it have just been an off the cuff thing of like, I just wanted them to watch a Disney movie. Sure. Probably didn't think about it. Maybe he's never seen strange world. I, I don't know, folks. I'm trying to give the benefit of the doubt because there's been a lot of attack on teachers 
And I know that at some point it's probably going to happen to me that there's probably some sort of attack or whatever. I said something, did something, and people are upset about it because they saw one clip of my episode. And it's all, you know, a lot of this is entertainment, a lot of pizzazz and me moving around and energetic. I'm not like that in real life. I'm, I'm an introvert. I'm quiet. I don't talk to many people. Um, so I just want to be careful with us targeting teachers all the time. There's teachers out there that are really trying to indoctrinate your children. They really are. Like, that's their objective. Do push the Black Lives Matter, the, the trans, and, and all that other stuff. I don't think that belongs in the classroom. If a parent wants their kid to learn that, or us as a society wants our kids to learn that, then we need to push that as a society then as a whole, and then institute that into the standards. As far as I'm aware, none of that is in the standards. We're only supposed to teach what is in the standards. Nothing can have sidebar conversation with students, but you gotta be careful with those conversations that you're having with students because you wanna make sure it's parental approved, which you can, you can, you can just sit there and just tell, right? Is it okay to talk sports to students? Generally, yes, right? Is it okay to talk about the weather outside? Yes. Is it okay to allow a student to vent to you about the relationship problems or whatever it may be? Yes, you just sit there and listen. You don't have to engage in a full level conversation. A lot of these conversations can be done with you just listening as a teacher, and that will suffice. If a student wants to go on about LGBTQ stuff, you don't have to indulge it. You can just say, hey, you know, I don't feel comfortable having this conversation. You know, I think this is a conversation you should have with your parents or just listen. You don't have to actually respond. You can just sit there and go, hmm, oh, I find that interesting. Hmm. You don't have to engage with it. But for some reason, people want to engage with it because they have an agenda they want to push and all these other things. So let me know what you think about this. Uh, I was trying to be nuanced in the middle ground plays devil advocate, but are you upset with this teacher? Should she not have shown Strange World? I haven't seen it. Maybe some of you have. Does Strange World really push a hardcore like gay agenda on students? Again, if somebody that hasn't seen it, I don't know, but maybe some of you have. I would really, really love your opinions in the comment section below on this one. Maybe I'm in the wrong. Maybe you're like, Brad, you're a freaking nuts, man. You're a nutso. You're freaky. We don't know. Uh, we'd love to hear from you nonetheless. I hope you enjoyed that clip from the Bald Brad Show. If you did, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you can stay up to date on all our future content.